true story, when I grew up, I was very good at math. In fact, um, I was one of the fastest in my class at adding things. But when we stepped into the subtraction unit, I remember it so vividly because I came home basically crying to my dad because I didn't understand. I was so fast at addition, I wasn't so sure how the other students were moving through subtraction so quickly. So he taught me this trick, and I'm going to teach it to you now. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how you subtract a teen number, like a 13 or a 14, something like that, minus a single digit value, like 13 minus 7. Now, subtracting numbers from teen values doesn't help you solve every subtraction problem in the world, but it is typically a core concept in elementary school that we are able to subtract numbers from teen values. And this is really great if you're good at addition. So for instance, if you're ever subtracting by 7, I ask myself, how many does it take to get to 10 from 7? And the answer would be 3. But let's say we take a look at 13 minus 7. So if you look at the 7 there, it takes 3 to get to 10. And that sounds easy enough to me. And all I had to do was take that 3 that I thought in my head and add it to the digit value of 13, which is a 3. Well, 3 plus 3 is 6. Oh, so 13 minus 7 is actually 6. How about another example? 14 minus 6. Well, 6 to get to 10, I have 4. I add it, the 4 of the 14, and I get 8. Oh, that's the answer. How about 15 minus 8? Well, 2 to get to 10, add 5 is 7. How about 12 minus 6? 4 plus 2 is 6. How about 11 minus 7 as a final example? Well, I need 3 to get to 10, and then add 1 is 4. And all of a sudden, I got it. I could move through subtraction as fast as I could addition.